on today's random spot. Oh, I don't want to shake it too much. We're having a look at the Strawberry Crush. I've never had this before. Well, I shouldn't say that. Truth is, I did have this once, once, when I was about six years old. It was a local general store right around the corner from my house, and uh, me and my sister would often walk to the store and pick up candy. So that's what you did when you were little. You went to the store and you picked up candy. Ner nerds candy, Big League Chew, for anybody that remembers Big League Chew. And uh, I also enjoyed a grape soda from time to time as well. I happened to be walking into the store, being me meted, being met by the very disgruntled store clerk that always worked there. He never seemed very happy. And I walked down the soda section one day and I found Strawberry Crush. I tried it once and I tried it only once because when I went back there the following week it was gone. I had never seen it ever, ever again. Now fast forward ahead in time. That brings us to now. Now I'm an adult. Now I have responsibility. Now I don't buy candy as much because, well, it goes right to the, you know, the tummy, the gut. But uh, I was in the, I was in a general store I don't normally go into, and I was looking along the section, and sure enough, what? What do we got here? I found Strawberry Crush once again. So. I thought this is going to be a fun little review. Granted, I could have just easily opened the can and drank it right on the spot. But I thought, no, no, I'll bring it home. I'll shoot a review of it for you guys. While maybe everybody, I'm sure, has Strawberry Crush locally in Canada, not so much. Or at least wherever I've been, I've never seen it. But I'm going to get this opened up. The can is a delightful dark pink color. It's strawberry soda, artificially flavored, of course. You wouldn't expect real fruit flavor in there. Ooh, it's got high fructose corn syrup. That can't be good. And uh, for anyone that was interested, 170 calories. Clearly not a significant source of other nutri nu nutrients, as they've indicated down here on the can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this opened up. A blast from the past, at least for this guy. It's going to bring me back to my childhood, uh, when days were simpler. Didn't have a care in the world. You woke up in the morning, you went to school. That was about as hard as things ever got. Sure, there was probably the, the girls in school that you were hoping would look over at you. You know, you'd pull their hair or something in school, hoping to get their attention. That's what kids did back in the day. That's what kids did back in the day. Now they just text one another. I'm sure they send each other an emoticon that's in a little smiley face or the little winky smiley face that shows that they're clearly interested. Back in the day, we didn't have that. You send a message to somebody, usually involved writing it on a piece of paper, crudely, of course, as a child, writing on a piece of paper and giving it to the person. I once had a girl send me a letter. She actually sat right next to me in class, and she wrote me a letter and slid it over to me and then walked out of the room. I guess I go to the bathroom. And uh, there was an upcoming school dance, and the note inside, she told me he's not watching this, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the note inside, I went to open it up, it said, I really like you. I would like to know if you will ask me out to the dance. So she gave me the invite, but even though she wanted me to ask her out, uh, what did I end up doing? I didn't ask her out. I ended up asking this other girl out in school, and she totally said no. You see how things work out, my friends? Sometimes the things you do want, you may not see it with these things here, but sometimes the things you really want in life, or the things you need in life, are right in front of you. Right in front of your eyes, and you just don't see it. What are we talking about here? Oh, right, we're pouring soda. Uh, quite the red color as well. If you're, if you're prone to having your teeth quickly dyed, or your tongue quickly uh, dyed by uh, colored sodas, then likely this soda is going to change your, your mouth into a delightful dark red color. Now, Tara back in grade, what was it, grade two, probably would not have wanted me drinking this out of the glass. So, even though I didn't go out to the dance with her, I'm sorry. Yeah, 
kids were stupid back in the day and I was so dumb. Um, because I didn't ask her out, well, I'll make up for it. I'm going <laughs> to gonna drink out of the can. Where are we going with this review? <laughs> I'm going to drink this totally out of the can. I'm going to let you guys know what I think of it. Strawberry Crush. Let's give it a try. Wow. It's very refreshing. It certainly tastes like strawberry, but it's very sweet. Ooh, it is sweet. It is good though. Sometimes when you get a flavored soda like Cherry Crush, kind of tastes like cough syrup. The strawberry isn't bad though. I don't know if I would necessarily drink the entire can because it is extremely sweet. But certainly if you like strawberries, you can't go wrong my friends than Strawberry Crush. Hmm, brings me back again to my childhoods. I think I'm gonna go to the store and buy myself some candy. And uh, as a side note, Tara, if you are watching this video, I'm totally sorry I didn't go to the school dance with you. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, today's random spot, we're having a look at the Strawberry Crush Soda. Thanks for watching, as you always do. Stay tuned for more random spots, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.